All praises <clears throat> to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful that other nation of Israel. All right, this is the brother Lawyer. All right, my name is Levi. All right, and um, this is an older video. Uh, it was made in 2016. You see the date. All right. Or better yet, it says May 17, 2016. And it was published on November 16, 2016. All right. Um, so now you know it's 2020. January. Uh, let's see. The 5th. For the last couple of days. Everybody has heard about the news dealing with the U.S. and Iran. The U.S. has conducted an airstrike on uh, Iranian-backed militia in Iraq and I think also in Syria. Well, what, what happened was that, you know, uh, a Iranian general was killed. A top Iranian general was killed. So, ever since that has happened... There have been talks about a uh, a new draft, all right? And guess what? That's going to happen. And um, and uh, see, in America, and also around the world, you have more women than men. And right here on this video, it talks about how. The women will be drafted. All right. See you women here in Babylon, the great America. You want equal rights and you want to be like men. Well, guess what? You're going to get drafted and go off to war just like the men. And particularly who I'm speaking about are you Hebrew Israelite women. You so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Hispanic all right, Central American, South American women, you women are going to be destroyed in Armageddon. All right, in Armageddon. Um, and also when the Lord comes back, when all the armies uh, uh, in the world come and fight against the Lord, like how it states in the Apocrypha, all right, you women and uh, you men, you Israelite men and women, Y'all gonna be y'all gonna become the soil, all right, in the valley of uh, Jehoshaphat also. So I'm gonna let this video play. currently in the military and I think a lot of talk right now is how we want equality for women in the military and you know women want to be able to um, be out in the infantry to be in, uh, in spec ops and all that and I think if they want that being drafted comes right along with that if the women can make it in the at the physical level that's what they need because we're not going to leave anyone behind. I feel like that would be fair that if women want to join the military, and I feel like there's a lot of women that do and have a lot to offer. In the and, and this is nothing new because, uh, you know, the, the so-called white man Esau, he always let women into the military. You know, like, you daughters of Zion, all right, if you understood that you're a daughter of Zion, you understand that, you know, you're a princess, all right. You don't belong on no fucking field. You're supposed to be, and th you know what, this is for all you women. Your desire is supposed to be for your husband. And we're going to get that after this scripture, I mean, after this video plays. Military, that it would be fair if there was a draft for everybody to be drafted. Just allowing women to have the same opportunities as men throughout the military. See? It's probably necessary to have the sign up for the draft. I don't think it has been necessary to use it, and hopefully it never will be. I think it'll be too rough for them. And I think it'll be more dead women than it is the dead men. See? See? 
this Israelite women even just see what she just said, and that's what's going to happen. All right, she's right. She is right. Personally, because first of all, they got to carry a whole bunch of heavy equipment and stuff. I just don't think we'll be able to handle it. I think that women should be included in the draft books. There's no reason why they shouldn't, and I think that if women can be in frontline positions in the military, they should also be able to be included in the draft. You know, with equal rights comes equal responsibility, and the responsibility of citizenship to serve your country in a time in a national emergency is is paramount. Um, I'm not as sure that I think selective service is the right way to do that. I have sons and a daughter. Um, both my sons were required to register, but my daughter was forbidden from registering. So I would certainly like to see it actually move to be an equal treatment for both of my children. You know, my son shouldn't be obligated where my daughter gets a pass. This is part of diversity, and the strength of America has always been our diversity. And by limiting the number of people or the, the types of people who are able to um, <laughs> exert themselves as citizens and defending our, our national security, I think is limiting our potential as a nation. So I think it's really important that we consider that women have something big to offer. <laughs> yeah, right. They're going to offer them lives up for Esau. Isaiah 39, 9 through 20, but I'm going to, I'm going to only read uh, up to verse 11. All right. Rise up, you women that are at ease. All right. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. And this is talking about the daughters of Zion, all right, which I named before I played that video. Many days and years <clears throat> shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Now, this scripture is referring to, um, this can be used for now because, you know, it's a lot of Israelite women that's in the military, even also, you know, um, uh, <clears throat> that you see walking in your daily life, they're at ease, you know, uh, they're not aware of the dangers uh, that, that will befall them. All right. <clears throat> they're not watching for the signs. The only women that's watching for the signs. All right. Are the ones that uh, the Lord is going to save. All right. Uh, when Isaiah four and one come into play. All right. Uh, and. Um, uh, and, and it says, rise up, ye women that are at ease, hear my voice. All right. We all know that the Lord has certain men that he used and he and he and he uh, uses man to preach unto his people. So the Lord is saying, you know, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. So what is the speech or well, the prophecies on what's to come? All right. The destruction. All right. <clears throat> Uh, in the vintage, so you know, back then the women would pick uh, uh, from the garden, from the trees, you know, and uh, basically it's saying that a famine is going to come in. Like uh, uh, this will refer to a famine as as well. You know, many days and years shall be troubled. Well, that's referring to a famine. It's going to be a physical famine and a spiritual famine out here. Meaning that in America, it's going to come a time where the government Esau are going to try to, uh, well, not going to try, they're going to come after us, all right? The certain man's going to get spiritual power, and certain man is going to be a uh, uh, mortar, uh, not mortars, <laughs> martyrs for Yahweh Shai, all right? And the Lord's going to raise them up, all right? And um, so there's going to be a, a, um, a spiritual famine and a physical famine. It's not going to be food or water out here. And that's how a lot of people are going to take their microchip. So, uh, I'm going to make a part two because I'm running out of time. So, uh, I'll post a part two soon. Shalom.